cult technology that we set up in Pakistan, it has been working as a vendor in data analytics and cloud-enabled services. It is developing ground-up machine learning solutions, innovative solutions. So we, I would like to share four of our, just four of our products that we have developed during this pandemic. The number one was developed by our co-founder, Walid Nasir, for US authorities during pandemic when certainly world went into lockdown. So we started developing products for businesses that were getting impacted through this pandemic. So we built, uh, like in US, there were like 14 million people who were facing eviction risk. Like they were renting places, they were facing now risk to leave those places due to this pandemic. So first of all, we created a service, which is like a program management and process automation for applications of rent re relief. So we basically made a program for US authorities that was processing relief rent relief applications using conversational AI and making those processing very fast. That was the first product that we did and it impacted many people in the US. The second product that also our co-founder was uh, invested in making was PPP, Paycheck Protection Plan, which was under the US government's loan forgiveness scheme. So basically US government's government announced a $2 trillion package during the pandemic to support industries that are struggling during the pandemic. So they were giving these loan forgiveness schemes and we created a software for banks to process those applications which was based on AI. So this, that software kind of processed around $900 million of loan. It was processed through that software, US loan. And we were able to market that software to 35 plus US banks within three months. Just in three months, we were able to like, market it, and they were on board with us. This kind of success or tra traction is not possible in a traditional world. It was only during the pandemic that we had this focus on pandemic-based solutions that made us like, have this kind of traction that we could get on board 35-plus banks during this time. The third product that I would like to speak about is fintech industry. Since the world has gone into lockdown, everything has gone like uh, online. People are working remotely. So we have kind of fast forwarded the digital age, I would say by three to five years. What we were expecting, like people were adopting digital technology, but during the pandemic, we like kind of fast forwarded it. And people are now more accustomed to using digital technologies in FinTech industry at least banks and insurance houses are using AI-powered products. AI is widely deployed services or products that are used in banking industry. For example, I could name a few products like credit underwriting, algorithmic trading, and fraud detection, chatbots, virtual assistants. All of these are AI products that are being used in fintech industry. So banks are increasingly under the pressure of like adopting the, these digital solutions to address to their customers' needs, being staying competitive in the business, and also cutting their losses, and like coming up with new business revenue models to enhance their businesses. So that's where the importance of AI basically comes in. And we developed like AI solutions for fintech industry, for example, for NetSoul, which is one of the leading software developer for auto finance industries. We developed like credit underwriting solutions for them. We developed personalized financial products for them, and also like relationship manager augmentation products, AI solutions that could predict the churn of their customers. All of these products we have developed for NetSoul and other banks in Pakistan as well. Number four is, since everything is going remote these days due to pandemic, so there is like an emerging field about remote asset management, remote asset visibility, remote asset monitoring, and predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance is about processing large amounts of data and being able to kind of anticipate ahead of time the breakdowns in services, systems, operations, or processes. For example, if you have a large industrial plant that is running, there are several machines that are running in that 
industrial plants. There are several faults that can occur in that plant. So people can, you can process a lot of information from the data that is collected from the machines, like vibrations from machines, pressures from machines, temperature, flow readings. And you can process all of this data to predict what machine is going to break down when, what sort of fault is going to occur in this huge plant. And once you predict these faults, they allow you to kind of plan ahead of for maintenance. And then that reduces the downtime of your asset. A particular project of our company that we did in last year or so was for a US-based energy company which owns 4,000 gas wells. So they had these gas wells. They wanted to monitor it remotely and also increase the gas production rate. So we developed an AI-based solution for them which could monitor all of their gas wells and like, could tell them like, how to operate these gas wells to maximize the gas production rate. So when we installed this solution, it started to give them, they predicted that this solution will give them around $200 million return on investment per year. So all of their 4,000 wells are going to be automated soon. And they will be derived through our AI platform. First, they will be increasing their gas production rate of their, all the assets. We are monitoring them remotely. The person is not even on the gas wells. He can sit at a remote location, monitor all the wells, see the gas production. It reduces the equipment damage because we're continuously monitoring the equipment. We can see which equipment is going to break down. We can control the equipment through external sensors. AI-enabled machines are intelligently looking at this entire operation and controlling it moment to moment. Right? So $200 million were not only saved in increased gas production, but also reducing the on-site people who want to monitor these gas assets, gas well assets. So they were like having 60 on-site engineers. We cut the number of on-site engineers from 60 to around 30, because most of the operations were automated. And then like we also reduced the equipment damage. There is a specific thing which is called plunger, which operates within the gas wells. So we could control that using our AI chip. So that enabled us to also reduce the equipment damage. So these are the four key short intro to the key products that we made during this pandemic. <laughs>